guilty as charged. It happens in real life. Let's talk about it. Hey, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. I'd also like you to think that I save time, effort, energy, and even once in a great while, sanity. I had to perform a lettuceectomy this morning. I think that we throw away things a little too fast, okay? In a real life, certain things do happen, and I am guilty as charged, but, but to the rescue, okay. You see that picture on the thumbnail, the before picture? There was an area of this lettuce head that was nasty, nasty, nasty. Now look what I did. I did a lettuceectomy. I cut, all I did was clean it and cut it away. Look how much is left. I am not about to throw out this entire head of lettuce because of a little area of brown that had happened. Has this ever happened to you? You know, life gets in the way. What happened was in my case, okay, at company about a week and a half back, and I bought a head of lettuce thinking I would need, you know, a whole lot for, the, you know, for the company. But I ended up not not needing a whole lot. And there is a difference for, you know, when you're single and then you're buying when people are coming, you end up sometimes with stuff left over that you cannot eat fast enough. And that is precisely what has happened to me. So has this ever happened to you? So I was in my routine of, you know, getting ready to clean out my, fr my refrigerator and I discovered the lettuce had decided to look a little bit like autumn instead of fresh like spring, if you will. As you can see the evidence of the picture on the thumbnail of which you clicked on. Um, that's one example. I'm going to show you another example of a mistake I made. Hey, I'm human, you know, like seriously. But lessons learned because I refuse to, I refuse to do food waste. I am not doing food waste. Don't, when you cut up a cucumber to make a salad, okay, you know how like you peel it, do yourself a favor, just cut, cut it in half and don't take away the exterior, the skin yet. Use what you need with the half, okay? You could always add to, you can't take from. What happens is when the skin is removed, this increases the decay rate much faster, okay? Am I going to waste this? Absolutely N-O-T. I'm going to use it in a salad today. Now, here's another example with cucumber. The other half of the cucumber, let me just show you, looks totally fine, right? It, it appears to be beautiful, right? It was wrapped nicely. You see, you see the difference with the skin on it? It's firm. It's not soggy. Good, good, good. However, however... One of the things that I look for when I see the beginning of decay, like slight, like there's a slight spot here that happens to be a little softer, nothing to write home about, still very usable. So if you don't like that, just take that little tiny area out. Don't just toss it. I mean, if you see a little discoloration, don't just toss so quickly. We are too swift to toss. We, we are in such a disposable society. I mean, like, Really, it's like, seriously, in my opinion, it's like just a bit much. Okay, now, that same uh, company, that same visit that I had recently, I purchased, and I was actually smart to do this, uh, cherry tomatoes, okay? Cherry tomatoes are great. Of course, it's magnified on the camera, so it looks like this <laughs> ginormous thing, but in real life, it's this. Okay, so... Just, you know, putting it between my fingers. I love cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are a better option whenever you're, you know, serving company or anything like that. Why do I say that? Because you can control the quantity better. For example, if you buy a big, gorgeous beefsteak tomato, right, you cut it up into slices, and people aren't eating it up fast enough that you thought it would, and even you're not in the mood for it, for example. You don't want it to turn into food waste. This was a smart deal because, look at me just, sorry. I want you to see the tomato again. <laughs> These are a smart deal. You could easily sprinkle them, you know, on a salad, set it up on a mozzarella tray with fresh basil and the mozzarella and this and, you know, a little bit of olive oil if you'd like, whatever, you know, all the good stuff. Just saying, just saying. But you have control over it. 
by not peeling the cucumber all the way. Because you could easily just like, even if you wrap it well, you're not happy with the end, you just take a little snippet off of that and still use it. So the bottom line is, you know how I feel about food waste, okay? I am huge on this mission because I don't like it, and there are a lot of people out there. And you know what? Maybe our parents were right when they said to us, you know, please eat because whatever, there are people out there who can't type thing. So don't be so swift to throw away your fresh produce. Just give it a haircut. <laughs> look, I, I can't believe it. When you look at that before picture on the thumbnail versus what this picture looks like, this image, this is the exact same head of lettuce. I refuse. Well, let me get some more stuff. Okay. Now, don't ask me why this is, but <laughs> to me, oranges, oranges, I don't even know if this is an orange or a tangerine. Looks like. I don't know what this is. It looks like a cross between a not-so-great orange. I don't know. This was probably intended to be an orange. But to me, lately, oranges go bad quickly, okay? If you see evidence that you're not using it fast enough, at the very least, squeeze it out and make yourself some orange juice. Aha! Nothing like actual freshly squeezed, and I mean freshly, freshly by you, freshly squeezed orange juice. Okay. Um... I have a peach here. I have a peach here that I never realized how quickly peaches can decay. Okay, so I only had this peach about a week. I'm going to show you the truth. This breaks my heart. So, of course, it's decaying. I'm cutting around it, and guess what? I will have it after my lunch as a little dessert. The bad part, I'm cutting off, and I'm going to eat. Listen, I practice food safety every time. So I'm not saying like if something's very rotten, eat it. I'm not advocating that at all whatsoever. I'm talking about an item that like you bought a week ago and it's like showing, you know, small signs of decay. This one, this one, you know, this area is decayed, but the rest of it, if it tastes fun, fun, ugh, funny, then I will not continue to eat it. I tried, okay? We are human, but we can do things to avoid food waste. And usually after you have company, that's when, you know, eat it up, use it up, eat it up, do whatever. I'm going to make a big salad with everything today. Nothing is going to waste. All I did was decide to give my head of lettuce a haircut. I can't get over that before and after. That is incredible. Looks like a brand new lettuce. But by the way, head on over to the How Debbie, How Debbie Saves channel because she has great suggestions, tips on how to keep, you know, your produce a little longer. You know, in the crisper, there's like a specific way to do it, whatever, that she could describe for you better than I could. But I'm just showing you, this is real life, and this is what happened, but I refuse to toss it out. I'm just giving it a haircut, putting it on resuscitation. <laughs> hey, look, let's be honest. Has this ever happened to you? Please let me know in the comments section below. We don't like it to happen, but it does happen. There you go. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City with Resuscitated Fruit and Vegetables. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Take good care.